Of the 10 million of Tunisia's population, over 62% is urban. Tunis, the capital, with a population of about 1 million, is one of the principal cosmopolitan urban centers of the Mediterranean. Other cities in Tunisia include Hammamet, Sfax, Nabil, Kawaren, Duze, and Suse. The overwhelming majority of the population is Muslim, and the official religion is Sunni Islam. Christian and Jewish communities practice their faith freely and contribute to Tunisia's rich cultural diversity. This ancient corner of the world has some forward-looking progressive policies that could be a model for others both within and beyond the region. With a secular government where religious tolerance and the equality of women have flourished to a significant extent, Tunisia provides socio-economic growth and political stability to local and foreign investors. Le tourisme en Tunisie c'est une activité fondamentale. Tourism in Tunisia is a fundamental activity. We have begun the development of tourism in Tunisia since 1960. We undertook a voluntary development of this sector to diversify the Tunisian economy. Before, the Tunisian economy was based on raw material, energy, phosphate, petrol and little agriculture. Manufacturing industries are almost non-existent and we want to diversify primarily the services of tourism. Because of our geographic position in the heart of the Mediterranean, we are getting ready for this new activity. Uh, asset activity nouvelle. Tourism is a main source of income for the Tunisian economy with an annual GDP income of 22%. More or less, 6 million tourists are heading in from the Carthage airport every year. La Tunisie est parmi les, uh, les premières destinations en Méditerranée. Tunisia is among the first destination in the Mediterranean with close proximity to Libya, Algeria, we welcome currently more than 6 million tourists a year, most of which are Europeans. We have begun the diversification of our tourist partners towards Eastern Europe and Asia. We are a destination approved by China, which is a very significant element. Most of our clients look for the cultural side of uh, the country. Uh, therefore, we, uh, most of our programs are focused around uh, archaeological sites, uh, culture sites by all means, uh, a bit of a Sahara. People want to enjoy a few, one or two days in the Sahara. So uh, it's mostly about that. Tunisia has a host of museums that covers the history of the country from as early as 400 BC. Roman mosaic artworks and pre-Christ statues are some of the artifacts that can be seen in the Bardoum and the Carthage Cathedral Museums. We have a very old history. We have Carthage, the Roman Age, the Islamic Age, and all that constitutes to the richness of the Tunisia's culture, which will be able to improve our product enormously and diversify them. There are a wide variety of tourist spots that accentuate the rich culture and unsurpassed beauty of the country. Yes, we're staying here in Hamamet, which is a tourist town, I, th I think, more or less. And um, yeah, we're interested in the Arab Arabic culture. And um, um, yeah, the people are very nice and friendly, and we like to stay here. And yeah, okay, but. They also like the tip, we get them, <laughs> so that's of course perhaps one reason for the kindness, but I think it comes from the heart too. 
I, I've been here for one week to have some fun, to watch archaeological sites, watch the sea and uh, visit family, and uh, have some fun and to show my baby uh, uh, Mediterranean uh, land. Tunisia is very beautiful and the people here is very nice. Uh, so I decided to come again to Tunisia uh, to enjoy the weather and to enjoy the, the relationship between the, uh, the, another, the Jordanian, I'm from Jordan, and the Tunisian people. They are very nice. Tourist accommodation is also widely available at competitive prices and hotels range from three star to six star classification. The village of Sidi Boussard offers tourists to bargain with local shop owners over prices of carpets, artifacts and clothing that are both traditional and indigenous to Tunisia. Uh, our policy with regard to tourism is based on quality with the program of bringing up the level of tourism and improving quality of our services. Our policy is based on the attraction of foreign investment with tourism and also the diversification of our tourism product. On top of the village lies a cafe where couples, young and old, come to enjoy a variety of different teas and coffees and soak in the last of the day's sunlight. This cafe is yet another picture-perfect explanation why Tunisia is worthwhile visiting.